What's up, y'all? Welcome back to The Clutch. Uh, last night, ooh. Last night we went herping. I'm over here at uh, Marita of Deadly Tarantula Girls. We also worked more with Venomous last night. If you want to see the training that I'm going through, jump over to her channel. I'm going to start integrating that onto this channel a little bit for y'all. Um, and you'll get to see some of the stuff that I'm learning and what I'm going through so that you learn yourselves. Um, not that, that I would think that that counts as ours. You definitely need to do it all yourself and be there firsthand and kind of experience how your body reacts and stuff like that. But um, I'll show some clips throughout this as well of what we did last night and what we found while herping. And right now we're gonna go through and we're gonna look at some of the unique animals that I really love coming here to spend some time with and enjoy. So. Come check it out. All right, so uh, this is my adult pair of Northern Blue Tongue Skinks. They are very cool. This is the male. And he is kind of unusually dark. The which one is? This, okay, so John has the male and he's unusually dark. You might notice his beautiful blue tongue. And this is a nice adult size right here. He came to me as an adult. This lovely lady here is my female. And unfortunately, due to the crazy winter that we had and, and shipping and all that, they, I don't think that they were able to uh, breed this, this year, but next year's right around the corner. And they're really awesome. A lot of people ke are keeping them in racks these days successfully. And for the most part, they can eat um, cat food, just like a cat food kibble. So relatively easy to keep. Obviously they're gentle and easy to handle. I think that they're very unusual looking. When you see them walking around on the ground, which we could put one down, I don't know if it'll walk. They kind of almost like slither like a snake, which is, oh, we can put them both down, I guess. It's not like they're fast. <laughs> and so, you can see they almost locomote more like a snake. It's sort of like they just use their legs to sort of push them along. And they're an animal I enjoy working with. All right, so this is our female Mata Mata. They are a South American turtle that have a modified leaf shaped head and a cute little snorkely dorkly nose. They do have long necks. You can see that she's got a nice little accordion going there. And so they have all these weird little like tentacles and tubercles that sort of, they lay on the, the bottom of the river and those just sort of like float around. And it looks like little, little worms or little pieces of algae or something. And then they actually have a really big mouth, which is why they always kind of look like they're smiling. So they open that mouth and just vacuum a bunch of fish up. And uh, she's really cute. So they, they lay on the bottom and just stretch their necks out and do the big snorkel nose. And so they don't like super deep water because they like to be able to just stay on the bottom. She's sticking her neck out. Oh, okay. So that's called turtle water, and it comes out of the back end sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, honey, I'm gonna let you back in. All right, so this is a Woma Python. Uh, some people might mistake it for blackhead, which is the other prevalent Australian python. They look somewhat similar. This one is blue right now, so it's not looking its best. Uh, they're known for having a saucy temperament, <laughs> and this one was being a little bit uh, 
It was definitely showing its attitude. <laughs> yeah, early. yeah, it was. This one was being a little bit skittish when I was pulling it out of the tank. But this is an animal I really love the color. When I see this animal, I can visualize it in Australia, in the outback. <laughs> and uh, they're, I, I like keeping them. And so actually, um, that new monitor enclosure. Oh, so this is a Varana Salvatore Asian water monitor. And he eats. He eats birds, he eats um, rodents, he eats rats, he eats mice, he eats um, little rabbits, he eats chicken eggs, duck eggs, snake eggs, uh, he eats ground turkey, uh, he eats dog food and cat food on a on occasion, um, just a wet kibble that we, yeah. Buddy. that we give him and we just uh, wet slightly so he's got a pretty decent body weight on him this is an animal that was a high yellow purchased from nerd another thing about their behavior is when he is living inside in an indoor enclosure he is much more tame and as soon as he comes back outside and is seeing birds around him and being exposed to the night air and getting to crawl around on the ground, he does become significantly more wild and you have to approach him more carefully. So you might notice the third eye, which is that little bump on the head. And that's actually a parietal eye. And it's believed to be a sensory organ and some people believe that they actually can use it to see. Being out in full spectrum natural sunlight. <laughs> well, that was a special little one just for you guys. He loves being outside. I think he looks like a little kid playing in there. It's really <laughs> cute. For the beginner, what would you say? Because I think monitors are something that a lot of people enjoy, but they're not the easiest thing to work with. Well, so. yes. So uh, Salvatore are some of the larger monitors and Niles are some of the most aggressive monitors. So I don't know if I would say either of these species, although aggressive is apparently a, not a kind word anymore. So we say defensive and it's true. You see, when I was walking in there, he was trying to, well, he did whip me with his tail and he was just saying, this is my new territory. I don't know if I want you in here. And then he said, you have snacks? Okay, you can come in. And I was just kind of patiently reading his body language, being respectful of him, because this is his ter territory. Marina, thank you, as always. Oh, uh, I so really enjoyed fun. the education. If you guys want to see us working with Venomous, like I said earlier, make sure you go check out her channel. She's going to be posting that. And then I'll show you a couple of clips of what I was able to capture <laughs> of our herpy trip last night. And make sure you go over to her channel in order to see the other half of it. All right guys, we're gonna run down this cut and I'm out tonight herping with Marita and hopefully we'll find some stuff for you. But who knows, some nights are good, some nights aren't so good, but we're hoping for the best. gonna come and get me all right uh, this is a really beautiful one nice and tan it's got a little bit of iridescence on it check out oh look at that some kind of spur in the middle of its body look at that That's crazy. that looks like a spur like this is some kind of uh, let's see have it's one spur but it's really tiny <sighs> weird it's also got some scars on its body check that out so this is a wild snake oh yeah there we go 
Nice. That's some coach whip That's what you want to see. For ya. Yeah, are you gonna get me? You just must on your own face, you dork. All right, we let this guy go on his way. See ya, buddy. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just ate a moth and it was totally worth it. Are you guys both yeah, rolling? Um. <laughs> I, uh. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. This is a pretty rare locale of Alterna. You can see. It looks like the only orange on this is that tiny little spot at the top of the head. Wow, I I don't have words for what's happening right now. I'm so excited. I almost broke my neck pulling it off the cut. And um, if that were my last action in life, I think it might have been worth it. <laughs> So, wow. It's awesome. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. See ya.